guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me so today I wanted to show you a recent mini album that I just completed this is an 8 by 8 mini album and as you can see it is completely chock full of lots and lots of goodies. So what I did was I wanted to use Maggie Holmes collections because I had worked with her collections in the past and I still had a lot of scraps that I could use. So this mini album was actually done with scraps. And so what I did was I went throughout my studio and I pulled out everything that was Maggie Holmes and I just tried to use as much as possible. Also, I had challenged myself to try something new. So I gave myself the challenge of working with either two or three new items that I've never used in previous mini albums. I'm trying to get myself out of my comfort zone, if you know what I mean. So I kept that in mind when creating this. So as I do the flip through, I'll kind of tell you what was new as far as me creating the page layouts and all of that. So first, here is the cover. Again, it is an eight by eight mini album and I didn't use just one collection, I used all of her collections. Because if you know Maggie Holmes, her, her line, all of her collections kind of go together. They all kind of have the same feel. So I was able to use a lot, which was great. And I tried to just put as much as I could into this mini album. I, I just absolutely love this. So the cover, the very first thing that I did um, is that I used gift wrapping paper instead of scrapbook paper because again, I was using scraps so I didn't have a lot of 12 by 12s. I think I had like maybe two 12 by 12s and that was it. So the rest is all scraps. But what I found, and let me pull it out real quickly so I can show you. Okay. So let me put this over to the side for a second. I bought this a long time ago at Tuesday morning. And it's gift wrapping paper. I have five of these books. Oh, this isn't the opened one. But let me just show you real quickly. In case you haven't seen it. So it is, let me show you here. So all of this, um, let me see what the size of 24. It says 12 gift wrap sheets, 24 pieces, 12 tags. I don't know, but when you open this up, it's huge. I mean, it's really, really, there's a lot of paper per, oops, so I don't know what the size of this is, but I can tell you that it's huge. When you actually open it up, there is an awful lot of paper that could be used. So I had that one, and then here's what I used for the cover. So like I said, I tried to use anything and everything that I could find. So that's what I did with the, oh, look at here. I didn't see that. Oh, I could have used that. Maybe I'll still go back in and, <laughs> all right. Um, so I used gift wrap and paper for the covers as well as the spine. And then for the spine in Cricut Design Space, I just typed out the word memories, had my machine cut it out three times, and then I backed it on gold mirror cardstock and it gave it that beautiful look. I love it. And the back, I just left blank because I think the paper is just so beautiful as is. And with the gold glitter cardstock in the back, I think it's just perfect. It really didn't need much more. Now, let me tell you that this album is heavy. It really is. There's an awful lot that's in here. 
So you can see that I used gold mirror cardstock here. I used a lot of puffy stickers. I cut out just a little piece of a scrap paper here, placed a cut apart, you know, just kind of like embellished it with anything that I could find within her, within her stash, her collection, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see. Now, for the closure, I used both tool, white tool, as well as pink seam binding. And I get my seam binding from Etsy. Um, you probably know of this shop. It's called My Scrap Cabin. I love her. I've been buying from her for years. And her product is always incredibly beautiful. She hand makes all of these seam binding. Very talented woman. All right, so when we open the book, now I'm going to try to do this as best as possible. Let me see here. Okay, so for the cover, for the inside covers, I did not place pockets. If you know, um, if you've seen any of the mini albums that I've done in the past, I typically do a pocket, but because there is so much within this album, I really didn't think that it needed it, so I didn't include it. So on the first page, I created two pockets. This is the first pocket here. And then I just added, let me see if I can do it this way. I just added a cut apart as well as a tag. And then I have another pocket here. Included more cut aparts, more tags. I just did a cluster of I cut some pieces of paper, added some cut-aparts, I found this little XOXO, backed it onto pink cardstock, and then um, matted that on gold glitter cardstock, uh, gold mirror cardstock, sorry about that. I added some gold trim here, and some a little piece of green string. Okay. So when you open it, there's a flap, and I'm going to try to get it all in there because there is, this is quite a big book. So on this page, I just placed a envelope here. I have a cut apart inside. Let me see if I can... This is going to be awkward, I think. Hi, huh, guys. <laughs> oh, for the love of Mary. Love us and save us. <laughs> all right, let's see. Am I better now? All right, there we go. So I, I just made an envelope, cut apart inside, and then I used a pink puffy sticker as the closure to the envelope. Then over here, I just added a belly band. Again, I clustered some embellishments together, added gold trim right here. You'll see some puffy stickers. And then I just had some extra scrap paper so, let's see here. So I created two mats. Here's the first one, and you can see this is a chipboard sticker. Here's the back. Oh, I have a little something on there. There you go. Okay. Here is the back. Added a little tab top so it's easier to pull out. And then here is the next one. Added a tab top added a chipboard sticker, and then here is the back. So there's additional room for pictures. Okay. Let's see if I can do it this way. Okay. Then each page there are six signatures in this mini album, and each one I've included an insert. So I just have a white insert. I didn't mat it, didn't put any cardstock. We can place um, pictures on here as well as journaling. I used a scallop edge punch for just that side. So it's peeking out of the pocket. So it's the same thing on all six pages. All right, and then we turn the page. Let me see. I gotta find a better way to show you guys, huh? 
I typically, when I create mini albums, I try to decorate as minimally as possible and only because I don't know first what the size of the pictures are going to be, how many pictures, how much journal am I, am I going to need. So I want to make sure that I leave enough room so that when I'm ready to start documenting, I have the space. So that's why. On this page, I created three pockets. So here's the first one. There's the second one. Here's the third one. Again, we have the page insert. And when you open this page, I created a slant pocket here and then added some cut aparts, a tag, and then I just did a cluster embellishment there. Here I had made another pocket and this is a library pocket with another pocket at the bottom and I've included some cut aparts and a tag. And then I have a puffy sticker that says happy place. So there's that page. Let me just kind of turn it to the other side. So here I've just again, I've just done a cluster embellishment. I have a little sentiment. It was really tiny, so I backed it on pink cardstock and then matted that on gold mirror cardstock. And then I just have a chipboard sticker here. Over on this side, I have a file folder. I created this file folder with the file. So here's the pocket, and then here's the little mat file. Oops. Isn't that just so sweet? I love that. All right. If I sound weird, I feel like I'm getting a cold. I'm like, I feel like I'm super hoarse. I hope I'm not sick or getting sick. All right, here's another page. I included another chipboard sticker here. And on this side, I have a, another belly band. Created a library pocket and included a cut apart. Here's another die cut. Placed a puffy sticker here that just says best day ever. Created a little embellishment and included a gold re uh, glitter resin heart. I've again, I've matted two pieces for additional. Oops, what is on here? Oh, another piece of sticker. <laughs> Okay, I've included two mats for additional photos and just place stickers on the back. Both of them have tab tops so it's easy to pull out and they fit beautifully in this belly band. So let's close that and we'll go to the back side. Here I've just created two additional pockets, except they're going this way. I've added two tags and a couple of chipboard stickers. Okay, and on this page, this is another way that I um, challenged myself. I decided to create a paper purse. Isn't this absolutely a Adorable. I'll leave the link below. I did get the diagram through Cricut Design Space, so I'll link it down below in case you want to make one. <clears throat> so I just created a rosette, added some embellishments, added a little gem, cut a little piece of ribbon here just to give it some texture, and then I added a little green puffy sticker as the closure and as you can see I have gold gems and see if I can kind I think you can kind of see 
but it gives it a little bling look. <laughs> and then up here, I just added some additional embellishments, created a pocket, included a couple of cut-aparts, and then created this matte look for photos or journaling. There. So there is that pocket. Let's see here. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Just included a bird sticker there. And then here I have another pocket. And here is another sticker. And I have another cut apart in there. And you can add pictures or journaling. And this tucks in right into that slit. So there is the paper purse. Isn't that just so, so cute? I'm like completely in love with this. I love it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let me open it up, slide this over. So this page is mainly blank. I just added a chipboard sticker there. Here is the next page. I love this girl. It's a clear acrylic piece. It is so cute. And then just added the, um, the word love. It's a puffy sticker, another puffy sticker, puffy sticker here. Here is the third way that I challenged myself. I made a mini album inside of a mini album. So this is a mini portfolio and I have a white tool closure. So let me open this up for you. Let's see here try to do this one-handed. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's a flap there. Just added a gold mirror cardstock as f um, for the whole reinforcer. Added some gold rickrack trim here. When you open it, I have some embellishments here. Created a pocket with a scalloped edge and then included two little cut aparts and back those on gold mirror cardstock. And then when you turn the page, I created another envelope. I have a heart chipboard sticker and inside of the envelope is a cut apart. And then again, I always use my little embellishments on an envelope as the closure. So here I just added some words, they're puffy stickers, a little heart, turn the page and then here's another, here's another pocket, did a fancy edge punch there and then just included two additional cut aparts. Here is a pocket, I left that blank for pictures or, or journaling. And then I made another envelope. I love making envelopes. I added some puffy stickers here just to kind of decorate it. And then included a cut apart inside. So that goes inside the pocket. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, I probably can't do it. That's okay. Turn the page. And I've made another mini envelope. I have another cut apart inside where I back that on gold uh, mirror cardstock and then wrap some white crochet string and then punched out a few flowers just to decorate the bottom of the crochet string. This doesn't open, it's purely just for decoration. Here is another journal or picture spot. Turn the page, there's another cut apart. Here's another puffy sticker. Open that flap and then here I have another pocket and did a scalloped edge to that and then included two additional cut aparts. Now, I was completely inspired to do this mini album by Sandy. She's over at on YouTube at Septeria18. If you've been scrapping for a while, you probably know who she is. She is completely incredible in her designs. 
So this little mini envelope, um, portfolio rather, is completely inspired by her. I would definitely suggest checking her out if you haven't already. Um, you won't be disappointed with her creations at all. I love her channel. So there is that. And then we'll close it and work back to the front. And then here is the back. Let me see if I can hold this one-handed. Okay, so here's another flap. I have a chipboard sticker here. It says, take me somewhere. Anywhere, right? <laughs> I need a vacation, guys. Seriously, I need a vacation. Have you guys gone away anywhere? Have you taken a vacation somewhere? I hope so. If you did, let me comment down below. Let me live vicariously through you. <laughs> And here I included a puffy sticker of a bird. And then I created another envelope here, added a cut apart inside, did a cluster of different embellishments, added a sentiment, and included a little piece of gold trim. And then I have some more seam binding. I have both pink and gold so that it matches throughout. All right, and then on this side, I've created a little tuck spot here. This is a tag. So I created a tuck spot and included a couple of cut-aparts. You can place pictures in here, journaling, whatever you want. Tickets, if you have tickets from a show that you went to, add the tickets there. It's a perfect spot. And then when you open it, I've created another tuck spot from this, uh, this acrylic flower and then added a cut apart that says, this is the life. Ain't that the truth? And then on this side, all I did was add this puffy sticker. And then on the back page, I've just added some embellishments, created another tuck spot here, included three different tags and postcard. And then on this side, left it mainly blank, added a chipboard sticker here. I fussy cut out this word. It was on, it was a transparent sticker, so I backed it onto white cardstock, lifted it up on some foam tape, foam dots and glued it onto the chipboard sticker. Let's see, open this flap. Let's see here, let me just move this over a little bit. There we go, a little bit, there we go. Mainly blank, added a chipboard sticker here that says follow your heart. Mainly blank, added another chipboard sticker, and this is of a bike. I don't know why, but I absolutely love this bike. I mean, it's no big thing, but I love it. I think it's the cutest thing. Do you get like that sometimes when you're looking at different like ephemera or embellishments where you just absolutely love something? <laughs> I don't know why, but I love that sticker. Here is the last page, the back, and I've just included another chipboard sticker here of a car, and it has gold um, detailing throughout. Here's the back cover. Again, I didn't include a pocket or anything because honestly, I think that this album has more than enough. So, this is the album. What so, do what do you think, guys? Do you like it? Have you challenged yourself lately to, um, to do something different. I like to do that every once in a while, you know, just to kind of shake things up and get myself out of my comfort zone because I think it's just so easy for us to, well, at least for me, to like kind of always do the same thing. When you know something works, you, um, you kind of just keep going with that, which is fine. But every once in a while, I just want to be able to kind of push myself, you know, um, do something that I haven't done or work with a tool that I haven't worked with either in a while or ever. Um, do you find that you do that as well? Do you make like a 
conscious effort to um, to do something different. I was almost thinking about creating a challenge and seeing if any of you would like to join in. And basically what I was thinking is to have us all create something with something that we either have never used or haven't used in a long, long time. If you guys are like me, you probably have tools and product in your studio that you had all the best intentions of using but kind of haven't gotten around to using it yet. You know what I mean? Those are the types of things that I'm thinking that, you know what, we should challenge each other and see if we can do that. So let me know. Leave a comment down below if you'd be interested in joining me. That would be awesome, I think. And plus, we get to play with something that we already have. <laughs> So that's all I have, guys. I really hope that you liked this video. I had absolutely a ball making this album. Uh, so if you like this video, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. It really means the world to me. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, every time you hit that like button and you subscribe, somebody subscribes to my channel, it just fills me with joy because I know that I'm able to reach just a few more people. And honestly, that's why I'm on YouTube, is to be of service to someone. That if I can help either, you know, explain a technique or explain perhaps a different way of doing things, you know what I mean? If there's any way that I can be of service to you all, I would consider myself lucky. I really, really would. So... Don't forget to hit that notification bell just so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. All, All right, right, guys, until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.